Thanks, Jeff. Can everybody hear back there? Yeah, you can, because I, I when they uh, invited this event in the pub, I thought this is a typical male thing, but you're going to be some serious work and have beer? How does that happen? And so, the way you can have serious work and have beer and food with men and women together is you have to have, someone has to have a loud microphone and you know, get noisy. So, I am really delighted to be here today and so honored to be a part of the team of some of the researchers that you're going to see here and enjoy and other people that well went for a grant application with Movember. And they wisely chose us here at UBC. And so I'm so I'm still honored uh, to be selected to be a part of the team to do this. But right now, what I'd like to say is this that we think about the word depression and suicide, and that goes out, that's not the best way to get men interested in coming along and seeking assistance, because those words often get associated with classification. And I'm speaking to you now, not, not about from a psychologist or a researcher point of view, I'm talking about the culture of men. Men, basically, one of the ways you can scare them away when you approach them and they have needs like all other human beings, is you don't start by putting them in a box, so you won't hear me or some of the people talking much about what the term suicide and depression, because that's a bit distracting to what's really going on here. What we tend to, what we tend to focus on is how to help men be successful and get the resources when they need it. And you and I know in Canada that males, because of our culture, the way we're raised, we tend not to reach out for assistance for the, the ways at the same rates that women do it all. So we do reach out if you, if you uh, make the right offer to men. And I know that because of the Veterans Transition Program, which I have set up here in British Columbia at this university and now is a national program. And those men in that program taught us a lot. They taught us a lot that they're like all oh, other people in this world, they just want to be successful. And as they call it, drop the baggage that they brought back in their life because of their exposure to very hard things. They want to have successful lives with their kids and their partners. And make it easy for us to get that. Don't use language that distances us. Don't make us feel that we're weak or there's something wrong with us because we won't come to the party. We won't. And these men here are nodding. They know, and even some of the women know, right? So they know. We, and a lot of women are very effective working men too. But, and they're the women workers. They know the way you approach men, you start with their strengths. Yeah, no, I need it. What are they, what, what, talking about, what do you have going through in your life and we can get better at it? So, that's a bias. I'm really biased up front. And as a registered psychologist, it's a bit embarrassing because they don't like me talking this way. I'm supposed to use a certain language, but I don't buy that. I, I think gender is a form of culture, and you've got to be culturally sensitive. So I really look forward to this project helping move the culture forward so more men in Canada actually feel free to step up, get the services they need. And you're going to hear about that today.